Well, the Trump administration has decided finally to end a CIA program that arms anti-Assad rebels in Syria. There are a lot of reasons to do this. A lot of these supposedly moderate rebels were not moderate at all. They wound up aligned with al-Qaeda. A lot of the weapons we gave them fell into the hands of ISIS and other crazy people. And of course, it's not even clear that we should be involved in Syria at all. At minimum, this is a coherent decision. That's not how the Washington Post or other media in this city described it. The headline of the Post read this way, Trump ends covert CIA program to arm anti-Assad rebels in Syria, comma, a move sought by Moscow. In other words, Trump is doing this because Putin wants him to. There can be no other reason. Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard represents the proud state of Hawaii, and she joins us tonight. So even, I was, we were talking in the commercial break, even Congresswoman, if you were for regime change in Syria, you were very anti-Assad, I don't think there's much defense of this specific program, is there? There's not, and, and this is the problem, is you know, the Syrian people have been crying out for peace for so long, and the media completely is missing the point here about uh, what is being reported, that Trump is ending this CIA program, as you described. But for, for the benefit of your viewers, let's talk about what the CIA program actually was. It's been widely reported that for years now, the CIA was providing arms, intelligence, money, and other types of support to these armed militants who uh, were working hand in hand and who are working hand in hand, and oftentimes under the command of Al Qaeda in Syria. So this isn't a matter of like, we're giving uh, weapons to people, but they end up falling in the wrong hands. We were, we are directly arming armed militants who are working under the command of Al Qaeda, all in this effort to overthrow uh, the Syrian government. That uh, is grotesque. It, I, it here, is. I'm honestly and sincerely confused. Why would anyone defend this? It is this addiction to regime change. Uh, and this idea that somehow this is what m must be done, again, without actually looking at the fact that we have been providing direct and indirect support to al-Qaeda, this very same terrorist group that attacked us on 9-11 and that we are supposed to be continuing uh, to be fighting against and trying to defeat. And the, the thing that should make everyone uh, feel sick is that people would rather support directly and indirectly al-Qaeda than actually um, give up their, their uh, regime change goals. So you are a progressive Democrat from one of the most liberal states in the world, agreeing with Donald Trump on this specific piece of policy. What kind of reaction do you get from your fellow Democrats in the well, House? Look, for years, even through the Obama administration, I've been advocating uh, to bring about an end to this program. And I'm right. continuing, actually, through the introduction of my bill, the Stop Arming Terrorist Act, be, uh, to, to make sure that our government uh, does not use taxpayer dollars to provide this kind of support, whether it's weapons, intelligence, or money, or anything else, directly or indirectly to these terrorist groups like al-Qaeda. And the reason why this is so important is because while reports are saying that the Trump administration has ended this CIA program, it could verily, very easily be changed and reinstated in a month or six months, or it could uh, rear its ugly head again in another country, but also because our so-called allies in Saudi Arabia, Turkey, and Qatar, and these other countries, they are continuing to provide direct and indirect support uh, to these terrorist groups like al-Qaeda. And my bill would bring about an end to this. But how frustrating, I mean, I am positive you've been denounced as a Russian agent. I think anybody who raises questions has been. Russia seems to have corrupted whatever you think of the charges corrupted rational conversation about foreign policy. Yeah, it's, it's really unfortunate. And the, the people who are suffering are people in countries like Syria, people in countries like Yemen, who are, are suffering as a result of our policies. And they have been directly counterproductive to our own national security. How we could allow the use of American taxpayer dollars to strengthen al-Qaeda is beyond me. And that's yes. what I'm fighting to stop. And if you're against it, you're a Russian. Just for the record, have you ever sworn an oath to Vladimir Putin? For the record, I have not. Have not. All right. Good. I just, well, you know, I I'm feel glad like you clarified in that, Washington sir. 2017, mm -hmm. we just need to be absolutely sure. Yeah. Great to see you, Congressman. Nice to see you, Tucker. Thank Thanks. You. Thanks. Aloha.